Okay, a uh, long time ago I made a video showing you how to connect uh, an a Sony A6000 camera to an iPhone to control it um, through the smart remote control. So um, I, haven't, I don't use this camera much uh, anymore. still really like it, but I have some other cameras I use more. But um, about a year ago, maybe a year and a few months ago, there was an announcement that Sony is replacing its uh, camera transfer app. So I'm going to show you how to uh, connect with a new app. Okay, to get this started, you start on the camera. Here is my Sony a6000. You go into the camera menu system. The first thing you need to do is connect your camera to your Wi-Fi. So you go into the app and you find access point setup and that will allow you to connect to your Wi-Fi. So I've already done that. So once that's done, um, you go into the menu system and go to application list. And if you click on that, you'll probably see this icon, which is the Plain Memories camera apps. This is an online store. So this will connect to your Wi-Fi access point. And then once you're in, It will show you apps that you can download to your camera. So these are, some are paid apps, but the one that you're gonna wanna download to your camera is this one right here, Smart Remote Control. So that online uh, app store will require an account. So you can also um, go to your computer and go to Sony Play Memories camera apps and create an account and then come back to your camera because you'll have to log in and uh, kind of buy the free app. It's free, but you'll have to actually do that first. Okay, so once you have that installed, it's gonna show up here as one of the apps. So I'm gonna launch that here. And so now it's waiting to connect to my phone and it's telling me it is now sending out its own hotspot, this SSID. And so that's how the phone will connect. So I'm gonna go into the App Store. And so the new app is called Imaging Edge Mobile. And if you scroll down, I'll show you the old app, Play Memories Online. So don't use this one anymore. I think this is now some kind of online storage for photos but not a remote control. So uh, imaging mobile app, so install this. And uh, once it's installed, you'll have to log in with your Sony ID. So you'll have to have that created. Um, agree to the terms, next. Wants to know, I'll just say it's my hobby. And what do you shoot, portraits? Okay, yes, you can use Bluetooth. Yes, you can access photos. Yes, you can send me notifications. Okay, so I'm gonna click connect with a new camera here. If the camera cannot connect, you can uh, go into settings, Wi-Fi on this phone to launch the app. Okay, so now uh, there's an option here to scan QR code. And there's other options, connect using the camera SSID and password. The QR code's the easiest. So hit OK, give access to your camera. And so now I can now put my iPhone over this. It'll scan the QR code and ask if I want to join this hotspot. It'll say yes. And this is kind of a one-time setup. Once you have this done, uh, it should remember, sh you shouldn't have to scan the QR code every time. It'll give you an option to connect to your existing camera. Okay, so this is um, the the camera app. So it's staring, the camera now is staring at my laptop. Um, let's see, I'll put a glass of water over there. And you can see it's um, looking at this glass of water. So now if I go over here, I can see what the, the camera is looking at. 
And so now I can, and it's taking the photo of the water glass. And then I have it set up in the preferences in the camera, or sorry, in the phone app to automatically save the images to my phone camera roll. So these images are being saved. So this works in a variety of modes. So right now my camera is in that kind of auto mode. It will not work in this, I forget what they call it, but the plus mode, but it'll work in the program mode, aperture mode, shutter mode, manual mode. It'll work in all of these. So let's put it on aperture mode. So here I'll select it. And then here in the app. And you can um, also control the settings depending on what mode from your um, phone. So, so I'm zooming in and then taking the photo. So it really depends. So here's the thing that's a bummer. In this um, app, you cannot uh, control video. You can't even start it. So if you go to um, video mode, hard to read but it says um, mode for shooting movies so I'll, I'll select that the movie shooting mode of this application is not supported on this device so you cannot um, start video from the app on your phone could not shoot error so that's kind of a bummer I think on some of the newer cameras you can use the app to initiate video recording, but not uh, for the A6000 at this time. I think it's just too old. Um, so anyway, it's a nifty little app. You can take photos remotely and automatically save it to your camera roll, but it's a little limited in what it can do. The setup is a little bit of a pain because you have to do set up the app here. You have to have access to the camera store. You have to connect your camera to Wi-Fi, and then you have to install the app on your phone and then connect them, and then you're finally able to do it. But anyway, hopefully this helps for people that saw the older video and were wondering how to do it uh, with the new app that Sony has released. Okay, thanks.